Let's talk about the fact that we have a manager at Fulham Football Club. Yeah. Yesterday it was announced officially, not by talk or rumours, from Fulham Football Club that Marco Silva is our next manager until the 2023-24 campaign. It all goes well. But of course, even more exciting than this is the appointment of Louis Bonmorte as his assistant manager. Of course, you all know Louis served the club for six and a half years, scored that unforgettable goal against Chelsea when we beat them 1 0 at the cottage. Now, if it does all go to this up, there are two good points. First of all, Louis could become our head coach. Woo! I cannot wait to start chanting those songs again, singing about Louis Boa, can't wait. The second point is, that goal that Louis scored against Chelsea means he will be immortalised in Fulham history. So if we go down to League 2, it literally doesn't matter. So Marco Silva, in my last video I was discussing how actually we need a bit of stability, but you know what? I'm really excited about this appointment. Now despite his lack of success, if you will, in the English Premier League. And we're getting a 43 year old Portuguese manager who does have good experience. We're going to be looking at attacking, flourish football, which is exactly what we want for the football club. We all remember that season when we were promoted from the Championship 20 years ago or so and we became top of the group. It was absolutely sensational, and of course, Louis was part of that. We all remember those glory days, the glory days of Slav football as well. And we won that back, and we have a great team. And we've never put the pedal to the metal with the squad that we have. Always been so focused defensively. So now is the time for us to start playing high intensity, exciting attacking football. And you know what? We have great plays in the squad at the moment. We've still got Mitrovic, Anguissa, Tete, Robinson, Tosin. Are these players all going to stay? Questionable. But with an exciting, positive attitude going forward, and hopefully the attacking style of play will convince Mitrovic to stay with us and we can absolutely crush a championship. I know how hard the championship is and I'm not expecting us to come top of the league, but that would be lovely. For me, the big hit is going to be Sheffield United. What's also interesting is that Marco Silva has had such success at the start of his campaigns. However, they tend to peter off towards the end, unlike Slav, who's a complete opposite. So that'll be really interesting to see. Question is... Can Marco Silva secure a long-term deal with us? Can he make this a success, bring us into the Premier League and hold down a long-term job? Let's look at his history. So he started off at his local club, GD Estoril, where they were on the brink of bankruptcy in the bottom tier. He then brought them all the way to the top tier of football there in Portugal and they reached the Europa League. I think Fulham would be pretty happy with that. Following that, he won trophies at Sporting, Lisbon and Olympiacos. It's very exciting where he won the Greek title. So overall, big success. The challenge has come with his campaigns in the English Premier League. He first started out at Hull City. Now, from the outside looking in, it's quite easy to get pessimistic about Silva. His success in English football hasn't been that great. He had the relegation with Hull. He ditched Watford very quickly after half a season. Had a good season with Everton at eighth, but then spent £100 million on transfers where they found themselves 18th and he was fired. And since 2019, he hasn't had a job in English football. There's the negative side of it, but the positive side. When he took over Hull, they had only won three games and they were rock bottom of the Premier League. He actually then got eight further wins with them that season and gave them a fighting chance. The week before the final end of the season, they were relegated, unfortunately. But that goes to show that he actually did turn their fortunes around and gave them a bit of hope. So I wouldn't say that was completely up to him. With Watford, we are going to see his loyalty questioned. You know, he was there for half a season, but they were in 10th place and they did really well, attracted bigger interest in the likes of Everton. So that success is something that we can hope to replicate with Fulham. And then, of course, with Everton, he had a sturdy eighth place to finish. Now, that's absolutely fine by me. So when you think about the three in isolation, that is actually quite successful. That is Premier League experience. Now, what happened the following season when they were 18th got relegated, they spent a lot of money, is worrying. It is a point of concern. So that's something we will have to keep our eye out for. But overall, I think it's a good decision by Shahid Khan. He met him in Portugal last week, really got to know him and was really excited about his ambition, his understanding of the club, the players and where he wants to take us. 
I'm personally really excited by this. I'm really looking forward to the attacking football. Yeah, this is a slight risk. It's a roll of the dice and we don't know what we're going to get at this stage. But what we do know is it's going to be exciting attacking football. It should be really entertaining, win, lose or draw. And you know what, fair play to Shahid Khan. I do believe his heart is in the right place with this club. He's invested a lot of money and he's very passionate. I like the way he talks about things. And I think this could be a really exciting era for Fulham. It's time to be optimistic. We've got a beautiful new stand coming. We can all go back to football. If it's anything like Louis, and Louis's got any influence over it, then we're going to be in a good place and we're going to have a great season. Now, I can't promise we're going to be in the top two or the players for that matter. But with the squad that we have, an exciting style of football, anything can happen. I'm feeling really good. The next question is, what players can we hold on to? What players can we bring into the squad? That's the next step for us. But if we did no transfer business whatsoever, I would actually be okay with it. Whilst a lot of those previous championship promotion players were pushed aside in the Premier League, they were given a chance at the start and we could see that wasn't going to work. With Tony Khan sending a lot of them out on loan, he must have had one eye on this season. So now we actually have quite a big squad full of talent. The likes of Johansson coming back is really exciting. Still got Kamara knocking around, Cabano, Nokar, all coming back. Now I'm not saying they're going to be the saviours of our season, but the point is we have a big squad full of talent. We still have Harrison Reed. I hope we make a few signings just to bolster our depth. But honestly, I do think the team we have right now is good enough. Couple more acquisitions and we're good to go. So Fulham have appointed a new head coach. Is it a case of settling for silver or with the likes of Louis Bowen Morte around, are we going for gold? The same positive forward with us. And actually, I love this shirt. I don't know how you guys feel about the copper ring. That's it from me today. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate the support. Like the video. And let's get talking in the comments. Are you happy with this acquisition? Who are you hoping to get? What do you see in the season ahead? Come on you whites, not long to go now. Bye.